hi guys welcome to my video tutorial in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can use kick PHP to create a console application that we can later use Windows task scheduler to schedule it to run seamlessly in the background without any human intervention what we're going to create today is a simple PHP application that will run in Windows command prompt the application is supposed to pick data from one table and then insert it into another table when the, when the command is run in the command prompt. I've created a database called jobs. In the database, I have two tables, request and then response. In the response table, I have one record, John Doe with the age 12. In the response table, it's empty. I have four fields ID, name, age, and status in the response table. At the end of this tutorial, when we run the application in the Windows console, we expect this data, John Doe, to move from the request table into the response table with the status done. The assumption of this tutorial is that you have an idea about Cake PHP framework. So I'm not going to go into the nitty gritty of explaining how to do your database connections and all that. I assume you already know that and you've already downloaded your Cake PHP framework. I've already downloaded mine and put and dumped it in the web roots of my web application. So this is my cake PHP and I've already created files that you will need for this application. I will open them and then explain to them and explain to you into details how each function is going to behave in the file. For this particular application, you will need four files. We're going to create A request model, a response model, a job task, and then finally a job shell or a job command. In KPHP, a shell is the same as a command. So, like I said, I've already created this files already. Let's go to the models. In our request model, we have two functions: the get data and then the delete requests. The get data fetches the requests from the request table and then is inserted into the response table in the response model or in the response class we have one function update response so the response function inserts the data that was in the request table into the response table that's all that this function does and then it appends done into the status field in the report in the response table after that it saves it and then returns a true if the save is successful or returns a false if it fails let's go ahead and look at our job task the job task can be found in the kick console folder to locate the kick console folder go into the roots of your Cake folder. You go to lib, you go to cake, go to console, go to command, then go to task. The job task that I created is this. Let's review the content of the job task. Here, 
I'm importing the two models that I've created, the request and then the response model. I've also created a function called run job in the job task. This function is what is going to run when the command is run in the command prompt. This is actually the main work that we're going to do. So in the run job, I'm getting the data from the request table using the request model and then the get data in the request model. So this particular method is going to go into the request table and then fetch any new record in the request table and then assigns it to the request data. Bear in mind that the data that is being assigned to the request data is an array. So we use the for each loop to insert each record into the database. So we use the update response in the response model to insert into the response table. So we assign the data into the response to the response model and then it inserts into the response table and returns a true or a false. Here we check in the content of the response variable. If the variable is a true, then the data has been inserted into the response table. So we go ahead to delete the data from the request table and then print out to the command prompt data successfully moved. If it fails, we print out to the command prompt fail to move data. Let's look at our job shell or our job command. Our job command is found in the command folder. Job shell. Here, I'm importing the job task that I created over here. So I can make use of this method in the job task. Every shell in Cake PHP console application has a main function. Without the main function, the application would never work. Because the main function is the entry point of the console application. When the application is run in the command prompt, it first looks for this main function, goes into it, and then execute whatever is in the main function. In the main function, I'm calling the run job in the job task. So I'm not doing anything fancy here. All that I'm doing is just calling the run job in the job task. So actually what is running is the run job method in the task, in the job task. That is all that we're doing in the job shell. So this all that we are doing in the application. I've explained to you how each function is used in the application. We can now go ahead and then run this application in the command prompt. But before we do that, we need to set our PHP path and our kick console application path in our environment variables. To do that, you go and copy the PHP path. My PHP path is in. Zamp PHP. I copy this. I go and locate my environment variable. Locate path. You 
you paste it in your environment variable don't forget to terminate whatever already is there with a semicolon and then you paste the PHP directory in there I've already done that already so there's no need placing it here again so I'll just go ahead and then delete it from here you do same for the path to the cake console application so go to library cake console then you copy this again you do same you paste it in the environment variable I've already done that so there's no need when you're done you click OK 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 now that we've set our environment variable let's go ahead and run our command prompt if you've set our environment variables very well if we type cake which is a keyword in cake php we hit enter it's supposed to return to us a welcome screen with our core path to our application which is this and then the available shell and then the shell that we created these are shells that comes by default with cake php applications but then the shell that we created is this shell the job shell or the job command and this is the command that we're going to run to run our application to run this job command you start with the keyword kick space and then the name of your shell or the name of your command in our case the name of our command or shell is job We have an error which we need to troubleshoot. Sorry guys, we have an error this error because there's something I needed to do earlier on which escaped me. Before we run the the cake command, we need to also change our directory to the cake application folder. So I go ahead to I go into the cake app folder copy this and then do a change directory okay so we need to be in our app folder before we can run successfully run the command we were not in our app folder that was why we had this error so now we are we are in our app folder let's go ahead and then run the command start with our keyword cake space and then run sorry job the name of our shell is job we have successfully moved our data from the request table into the response table so let's go into our database to verify whether this has actually been done this is our response table as it is now it's empty let's refresh and then let's see whether there is data in it yeah our data has been moved from the request table into the response table with the status done let's go into our request table to see whether our data has actually moved from the request table let's refresh it's no more there so our data has moved from the request table into the response table actually we can use this concept to build a complex application that will run seamlessly in the background in my subsequent videos or in my next video I will, I will create a Windows task scheduler which we will use to schedule this particular application that we've done this application is going to run at the background without any human intervention is going to pick data from this request table and then insert it into the response table every minute 
every minute is going to check this table to see whether there's a new record and then it will insert it into the response table without any human intervention it's going to run at the background after that i'll go ahead and do another video of using chrome job to do this schedule thank you guys for watching if you have any question don't forget to put it in the comments if you like this video subscribe i have interesting videos coming up too thank you for watching bye bye